It's not enough to just say that JK Rowling is a terrible person. Now they are going as far as to removing her name from the books and then reselling those books without her name attached. What books? Well, if you've been living under a rock for the last, I don't know, 30 years, Harry Potter, the Harry Potter fans, or I should say at least, at least the, the ideal, the ideologues, the zealots, right? The woke Harry Potter fans are absolutely maddened that this woman isn't 100% lockstep in line with them. She's 99.5% in lockstep with them. And that's not enough. That's not enough. Ladies and gentlemen, here, they are removing her name from the books. Let's get into this. I saw this and I was like, holy crap, this is insane. This is next level, like real time historical revisionism, right? And I, 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 obviously this isn't going to be on some grand scale, but it might be, who knows? Maybe this is the spark that makes a whole lot of people a whole lot of money by removing this woman's name and putting on different book covers. Harry Potter books stripped of JK Rowling's name are then resold by book binder artist. Artist removes Rowling names Rowling's name from used books, uh, a project uh, spurred by her transphobia, he claims. All right, a 23-year-old individual in Toronto, Canada. Of course it's Canada. Of course it's... <laughs> of course it's Canada. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, gosh. You know, and here's the sad part is I am like mostly Canadian. Uh, has been hard at work removing J.K. Rowling's name from used Harry Potter books and replacing not just the book covers with his own custom covers, but removing her name from the copyright pages and title pages as well, according to SWNS reporting. I'm not familiar with that, uh, that site. Uh, this is Fox News, by the way, so trust it or don't trust it. I mean, it's a story and it's... It's, I mean, of course, Fox News is going to pick this story up. Who else would? <laughs> the individual has completed at least 30 newly rebound books, offering them for sale in their newly bound form. Ooh, I love that vernacular. I love that vernacular. Artist uh, Lore Flom, who runs a website in Canada, apparently started the project to help out any Harry Potter fans uh, who find they have ethical issues with the author while reading her best-selling books. How insane are these people? Like, for me, when they decided to go after Star Wars and completely change Star Wars, I was just like, all right, I don't need it anymore. I'm done. It's fine. And I just walk away from it. It's not the thing that I like. Maybe I, and I, there have been artists out there, musicians out there that I just can't listen to their music anymore because of their political takes. And I just stop listening to their music. I don't understand. This must be like a drug to these people. There must be something. There must be a chemical in the brain that is firing so much. Okay, that they love this book so much that they, but they hate her so much. What is causing this? There's got to be a chemical imbalance that they still want to read her book. They want to love her work, but they want to pretend that she never did it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, th this, th oh my gosh. This is something that that evil man from World War II wished he would have done instead of just burning the books. I bet he wished he would have done this and just put his name on all the great works. Um... Yeah, the HuffPo uh, writer defends J.K. Rowling after finding no evidence of transphobic quotes. Okay, so this is just another article here. But anyway, um, Flom began his work, the work a year ago, saying his motivation was was the allegations of transphobia uh, that were made against the British author, according to SWNS. Rowling faced backlash a few years ago for comments that were considered by some to be controversial about the transgender community. I think all she said was like, "Keep men out of women's sports." Okay, uh, Lur Flom told SWNS the project spurred is spurred by her transphobia. I was a fan. Uh, growing up when I did, it was a given that you would read Harry Potter. I've, I've never read the Harry Potter books. Um, I don't know. I've heard that they're I've heard that they're all right. But then here it is right here. It's actually showing a picture of him going in with razor blades and removing this stuff out from it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is. This is crazy to go in and actively in the modern day 
not just removing it from online, but people are getting to the point where they are removing her name off of the physical books themselves. If this movement continues, I would reckon you may not find a Harry Potter book in the next 20 years that has her name on it if stuff like this continues. Now, that might be a little, you know, hyperbolic to say, but come on. This is absolutely insane. The things that they are doing, the lengths that they are going to, to try to separate this woman who literally agrees with them 99.72% like of the time. This one area she doesn't agree with it, and it is so radical to them that they have to excommunicate her name from the, they won't just stop reading the books. They can't, they are addicts. They can't stop reading the books. They need this fantasy because they don't understand, because they believe in the fantasy and reality merging together. How do I know this? How do I know this? Well, they probably believe in gender pronouns. Gender pronouns are a fantasy, right? There are two genders. Everybody knows this. It's biological. But they seem to think that you can combine fantastical elements with reality. This is something that I talked about when I did my Tolkien videos and why it was so desperately important to these people to make sure that they were able to remove most of Tolkien from it and then try to inject the modern day reality. Again, one of the things that has helped us since, I mean, I don't know, human beings were able to understand story and parable, one of the things that's helped us is to use examples through storytelling to talk about the, the, the trials and tribulations that we all go through. And by taking the real world and injecting it into the fantastical, into the fantasy realm and injecting fantasy into reality, you start to do something where you twist and you turn and you darken what's there and you make it this weird amalgamation of thoughts that should not go together, right? One of the things that I said in my Tolkien videos is that this is utterly preposterous. And by them wanting to make sure that fantasy and reality are merged together is to make sure that nobody has an escape from the absolutely bombastic world that they want. You are not allowed to get away from this world. You will have no escape mentally. You will not be able to get away from the message. Now, ladies and gentlemen, removing her name from the books and then turning around and selling them in the newly bound form Kudos for the creativity. I got to give you that one, actually. That's pretty freaking smart. I I mean, you know, I, I hope there's no legal recourse, but it is a used copy, so we will see how the uh, copyrights... Uh, sorry, my chair just broke. Uh, but we'll see how the copyrights hold up there and see what is to be done with that. Now, they're used. But ladies and gentlemen, in order to maintain the fantasy world that they live in, because they cannot accept the world or just can't function in it normally, right? Maybe they don't have the mental capabilities to function in the world normally, but in order to do this, they have to remove anything that slightly troubles them. And I say, of course, then again, it doesn't trouble me at all. And for things that slightly trouble me, I'm just like, meh, don't care, right? And I move on with my day. But for them, for the people out there who are doing this, who so desperately crave to live in the Harry Potter world, who so desperately crave to being Hogwarts, who probably dress up like the characters. And again, I have my own issues with cosplay, but we won't get into that here. But for those people who are of this mentality to do this, be very careful because right now, they've got a lot of control in the media. They're getting a lot of attention and they have been getting a lot of attention for a lot of years. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know down in the comments below what you think about JK Rowling being removed from the books in order to satiate this absolutely insane notion that her work wasn't created by her. Again, he's helping Harry Potter fans. That's what he said, he's helping them. So let me know down in the comments below and never forget that if you guys comment down below, I do a special live stream for all of the people who comment on the channel, and I do it at 11 a.m. Central on Sundays. It's called Sunday Coffee. I have a cup of coffee with you guys, and I sit there, and I read all of your comments, and I give you my full thoughts and opinions right then and there. So if you guys would love to be there for that live stream, like 
this video and subscribe to the channel and never miss a notification by joining my Gilded or my Locals. Those links are in the description. And if you guys really want to find some new authors or new creators out there that are doing absolutely fantastic work, check out Iron Age Nights. That's the live stream we do every single Friday at 8 p.m. Central. And I hope to see you all there. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.